this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And today, we are playing inside of the Adventure Time mashup pack. And this was uh, pretty recently released on the uh, the console versions. I think it might be coming soon to, to Pocket Edition and Windows 10 as well. If not, it might even be out there uh, already. So, uh, yeah, what is this? Um, obviously, I am dressed uh, as, uh, as Finn uh, in this, uh, this episode, only seem fitting. And uh, I am inside of a world which was built by our friends over at 4J Studios. And I'm going to be spending the this video and the next few videos exploring the world, just kind of seeing the, the sights, and also going on a hunt for music discs. Uh, anytime uh, 4J Studios build a map, they always fill it uh, with a bunch of, uh, of music discs for us to find, and I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to, to find all 12 of them. So uh, let's uh, start off. I think it's going to be very fitting to, to go inside of, well, I guess my house, <laughs> seen as, uh, as I'm Finn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just go and explore this place. I mean, it looks amazing. I've only just loaded it up. This is my my first time seeing the texture my first time seeing the the world so it's all going to be a uh, new to, to me as it is for for you but it's got the 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 standard mashup pack treatment we've got the the texture pack uh, we have a, a bunch of skins as well let me kind of uh, just go and skip through some of these skins uh, uh, first you can see some very familiar faces if you are a fan of adventure time and I am assuming that you are a fan of adventure time for two reasons one because you're watching this video and this video is about adventure time as well as minecraft of course and also because everyone just seems to, to be a fan of adventure time so <laughs> the chances are you are a fan of Adventure Time. But yeah, there's some pretty amazing skins. Some are a bit weird, like the, the lumpy space princess, which um, kind of has a little arm and like legs and stuff, which is a little bit odd. There's some there's some strange shaped characters in Adventure Time, but 4J Studios have definitely done their, their best to, <laughs> to, to make them in a, a texture uh, that would actually work for, for Minecraft. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go and explore my, my home again. It's uh, really weird because, of course, Adventure Time is normally a 2D game. And oh, this is the, the bathroom. Yeah, it's normally a 2D game. So you normally only kind of see like pictures of this stuff basically So it's kind of cool to, to actually look around and kind of see the the layout And I bet uh, 4J Studios probably have to to kind of just sort of guess and make up quite a, a lot of, uh, of stuff as well in this um I'm assuming just because, you know, a lot of it you can't kind of see in the, the actual cartoon. And uh, I am a huge Adventure Time fan and uh, I've watched I've watched a lot of the episodes, but I knew that I knew that this would be full of Easter eggs. I knew there'd be so many references to the, the show and characters and that. And I really wanted to know it all. So I am currently trying to watch every episode of Adventure Time. And oh, one second. There we go. Number one. We have music disc number one. So I don't look at the view. Look at the view. We can see uh, down there. That's like the 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 kind of ice castle where the um the the ice king lives. It looks like there's the the candy kingdom down there. So uh, yeah, let's go and head over in those directions first. But yeah, as I was saying, so I have seen a lot of Adventure Time anyway, like just on Netflix and stuff. So I've decided as research inverted commas research for this mashup pack, I'm gonna try and watch through every single uh, episode of Adventure Time which has been released. And there are uh, towards my calculation, I think there's about 252 episodes which makes 2,772 minutes, roughly, of Adventure Time, which means it would take me 46 hours to watch every single episode. So I haven't done that yet, because <laughs> I only started today and made it through season one, but I am going to try and get through all of them uh, by the, the end of this as well. So I'm just going to, like have Adventure Time taking over my life at the, the moment. So hopefully I will be very well informed in terms of the names of things and kind of uh, all of the, the references. But uh, on this episode, seeing as I've only gone through the, the first season, I thought I'd I'd go and try and visit some of the uh, the more famous places like the, the Ice Castle and the, um, of course, Jake and Finn's home and then the, the Candy Kingdom as well. So they're going to be the, the first places we're going to explore. And uh, yeah, see if we can get some music discs. But I should probably prepare a little bit because I'm playing this on survival. I do have keep inventory on because I don't want to, to end up dying and losing all of my stuff. Uh, but uh, I do need to, to worry about kind of surviving and setting my spawn. And uh, I don't need to worry about food too much because I gave myself a load of fish. So uh, I'm not going to be going around hungry because that wouldn't be very much fun. But uh, let me just go and at least make myself... Let's, let's, let's make myself a stone sword, I guess. Because that should hopefully be enough to, to keep myself safe. And hello. <laughs> hello, sheep. It works so well. Like, the, the art style of Adventure Time works so well in Minecraft, it's amazing. So, alright then, let's just go and make a, um, a crafting table, and then let's make, um, let's make a, a pickaxe, shall we? I think would be good, and then I can, I can hopefully dig some, um, 
some stone from somewhere, and then I can go and make my myself some uh, some stone tools. I might struggle a little bit with the the controls, by the way, only because I'm playing on the the Nintendo Switch, and the the controls are almost the the same as the the other versions. The only big difference is the the menus. Um, the menus aren't the same in terms of what you press to select an item and what you press to to go back. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to to change that. You can kind of change the the controls for everything else, pretty much to whatever you want now, which is cool in the, the new update that came out. So that's handy. But I don't know if there's a way to do it in the menus. I think that's just a, a Nintendo thing. They just want to be a little bit different, so they kind of have it their way. So I'm sure it won't be too much of a problem. I'm mainly just kind of wandering and like looking around the, the area anyway. And what was was, was, I, was I not gathering stone? I was gathering diorite. Ah, oh, dear. I didn't, I didn't realize it was diorite because <laughs> I got the weird texture back. I just assumed it was going to be stone down here. Right, am I gathering stone now? There we go. There's cobblestone. I really only need... Uh, well, let's just gather a little bit more since I'm down here. Then I could make a... Um a pickaxe and stuff as well, in case I'm going to, to need it. And then hopefully, uh, I'm just going to find other items in chests. Normally there are food and just some items and maybe some armor kind of just uh, scattered around in chests anyway, so I can just go and grab all of that from there. But for now, uh, let's go and make myself a stone sword and a, a stone pickaxe. And then let's get rid of these ones and then I should be uh, good for for now. So right then, uh, let's go inside of um, uh, the, the Ice King's castle then, shall we? And see what we, uh, we have inside. It's really fun doing this as Finn as well like i feel like um i'm going on a, an adventure into the the castle to to save all of the the princesses that he's kidnapped or something like i'm really <laughs> i'm really being able to to role play here but i will be switching around i will be playing as a, a different character uh, on each episode and it's quite fitting as well because they don't actually have the 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 stampy cat skin on the um on the the switch so it's kind of nice being you know, able to have an excuse to, to dress up. And I just found an igloo down here. Is this just like, this almost just looks like a, a normal Minecraft igloo to, to be fair. So as I said, I haven't watched through um, all of the, the episodes yet. So uh, there might be a few references that uh, I don't get, but most things I should be able to, to get. And to be honest, I think I'd probably seen most of the, the episodes anyway. I'm just really bad at remembering them. Like I never remember the names of characters or places and things. And I just didn't want to to annoy you all by by not understanding the, the references and you will get them. But I'm sure you will be able to, to spot even more things than uh, than I do. So feel free uh, to, to share them in the, the comments. So yeah, everyone will be able to, uh, to to know themselves. Looks like we have a... um. A drum kit down here by the looks of things and ah, I think this is the um the the cage with all of the the princesses that the uh, the ice king kidnapped uh, I think this is where he kept them all in here and as uh, this uh, I think oh I think this is the um the the entrance to the cave that we saw yeah there's the uh, the the house and the the view from it here and it looks absolutely amazing doesn't it and uh, let's go let's go and make our way inside can we can we go anywhere else it looks like this is where his throne is and aha Aha, there is. There's a, a staircase uh, leading down this way. Uh, it might be a little bit dark down here, so I'm definitely glad I uh, I got my <laughs> my sword out ready, uh, just uh, in case someone uh, or something jumps out at me. And oh, we found a chest. What have we got? We have a name tag and a book and quill. Not the uh, the most useful things in the, the world, but <laughs> as I said, there are chests kind of scattered around with, with different random things in them. I'm not sure what this is meant to be. I think that's a sea lantern, either that or, or glowstone. I don't know uh, what this uh, this room is supposed to be, but it looked like uh, there were more things kind of up the, the stairs this way. Uh, yeah, other things that we'll be able to discover. There's quite a lot of episodes that are set in here, so there are quite a lot of uh, like nods to particular episodes they would be able to, to add in uh, to kind of a, an area like this that you visit so much. Once again, though, I'm not entirely not entirely sure what, what this area is uh, supposed to, to be. So shall we go to the Candy Kingdom then? Let's go to the, the Candy Kingdom. I really want to uh, to visit that place. I saw a little bit of it uh, kind of just uh, on my way there. And oh, oh, no, there is another room. And oh, what's that? There's, oh, is that just an armor stand? I think there's just an armor stand here. I thought that was like a, a witch or something, but no, it looks like we've got a, an armor stand here. So uh, let's go and grab the, the, the armor. The problem is we're going to ruin my costume. I'm going to ruin looking like Finn because at the moment I look like Finn. And then I'm going to put all of this armor on and I don't know what I'm going to look like. I don't, <laughs> I don't look so much like Finn anymore, but it might be worth it for the protection. Well, it's only leather. Let's at least have the um uh, have the uh, the helmet off and then at least I can see my face. And are these, are these like actual swords? They are, they're actual swords. I wonder if there's actually supposed to be any redstone behind them. They're only they're only wooden swords though. So let's uh let's just leave them up on the the, the wall for for now then, just to, to not ruin the, the decoration. And it looks like there's kind of like a little library down here. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be a reference to, but oh there is a chest. Oh, there's a music disc! 
There we go. I'm glad I didn't leave. I was literally just about to, to turn around and leave and think, right, I've seen everything, but I was able to, to find a music disc. Look at that. That's going to be a record. I found two music discs in like 10 minutes. That is amazing progress so far. And I am going to keep uh, checking the, the map as well because I want to, to completely fill in the, the map because it's a really good way to, to kind of keep track of, uh, of what areas you've visited and uh, what areas you haven't visited. But it is about to, to become nighttime now, so it's going to be the, the perfect time uh, to, to head inside of the, the Candy Kingdom. Uh, and then that way, uh, there's hopefully going to be uh, either a bed or it's just going to be nicely lit up so we don't need to, to worry about all of the, uh, the the Adventure Time googlies. And I can't imagine what the, the googlies are going to be because there's so many enemies and baddies that they kind of fight through the, the show. There could be almost anything. Those are like... The those, um, they're like the, the kind of guardian thing. So there's one of the, I think it might even be in the first ever episode where Finn breaks a promise to the, to the bubble, um, bubblegum princess. And then like these things come down and he has to answer a maps question, which is like two plus two. And then he does it and then they kind of like explode and like time goes back. So <laughs> I think that might be a reference to that. I need to find the, the entrance though, because yeah, it seems to be kind of surrounded by lava, and I don't really fancy my chances of, uh, of getting across that. I kind of want to, to enter it from the, the front anyway. Let's let's go around this side. Hopefully there's going to be a, a bridge or something leading uh, into to it. The good thing, though, about there being this lava everywhere is the, 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 the fact that it's nicely lit up, at least, so that hopefully it won't be uh, too many things sporting around here. I just love the look of it. Just even, like, the, the trees and the way the mountains go really pointy. Like, once again, it kind of tricks you to, to making you think that you're not playing Minecraft. And then the other thing, as well, is the, the music. Something I didn't really talk about uh, too much before is that they always add uh, new music in the, the mashup packs, and there's a lot of Adventure Time music. And even when you, you first load up the world, it plays the Adventure Time theme tune, which is just the the perfect thing to to make you realise what you're <laughs> what you're entering into and kind of to to set the scene. But anyway, it looks like we have uh, have found the um the the main entrance here. So uh, I literally went the the complete wrong way around. And look at this place. This looks absolutely amazing. I wonder how many things I'm going to be able to to recognise uh, when I make my way in here. And I wonder like kind of what version of the the Candy Kingdom it is because it kind of changes a lot. And there's like a lot of different places that you get to, to visit and see in the, the show. So I kind of uh, wonder which parts they're going to, to end up putting in. And oh, look at these tiny little houses. Oh, and there is a bed. There is a bed as well. So let's go and, uh, and sleep in this uh, this bed here. Uh, we can set it to, to morning and then everything is going to be much brighter and more colourful for us. And it looks like there are going to be some chests. And oh, what's this thing? Oh, is it like... I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> it almost looks like there's there is one of the um the the candy creatures that looks like that, and it's like three things stacked to, together. But I can't remember it being a, a bad thing. I thought it was a, a good thing, but maybe they just thought it would be like a, an interesting <laughs> thing to, to make an enemy out of. But let's uh let's avoid that. Now we know that it is a, a zombie. And actually, it isn't that that episode that I was talking about before. There are a bunch of kind of zombie candy creatures, so maybe it is actually kind of supposed to be one of them, where there was a spell that goes wrong that was meant to bring everyone back to life, and they kind of come back craving sugar and uh, go to to eat all of the the candy uh, pieces. And I did not realize how to. <laughs> This building was going to, to go to. I thought I was just entering a, another little house or something, but it seems like we've gone all the way up to the, the top of the candy kingdom. But look at this place. I mean, this is just perfect for me. Like, this is, you know, a whole candy kingdom. This is just, like, my dream right now that I'm able to, to, to live. <laughs> and it looks like we might be going up to... um. Uh, Princess Bubblegum's room by the, the looks of thing. I think uh, that is what is uh, up at the, the top here. And uh, hopefully uh, there's going to be a music disc up here as well. Like a safe rule for music discs is to, to climb something tall. Normally anything that looks good and you can climb to the, the top of, there's a pretty good chance of there being a music disc there. So me climbing all the way up to the, the top up here. <laughs> hopefully I'm going to be able to, to get a, a reward. So is this her bedroom? I think it might be. There's definitely a bed in there. So it's, uh, if not her room, a, a very very fancy room and they got the the colors absolutely uh, perfect as well like i've literally just come from watching the show for hours on end <laughs> like while just playing minecraft <laughs> so it's weird just kind of now stepping into the the world and having control of where i get to to go and it's still going up it's still going up we're going above the the cloud line by the the looks of thing we're literally going right to the very top but oh no is there not a chest here I don't think there's a chest. I think this is the, the very top. Oh, maybe on the, the outside? Is there a chest around on the, the outside here? I might turn... I might turn the, the clouds off because in that way uh, we're going to be able to, to see the, the views uh, without all of the, the clouds in the, the way. And you can see all of the, the mountains surrounding it here. Is there is there a chest here though? I don't, I don't think there is a chest. I don't think I can go anywhere higher up. 
I was almost certain there was going to be a chest. Let me just loop around one more time, though, to make sure I didn't miss one. So that's where that's where I entered from. And it looks like, sadly, there is no chest uh, on the, the top up here. I'm pretty sure there's got to be one in the Candy Kingdom. There's no way they're going to have the, the entire Candy Kingdom without uh, a chest in it. But just this, like, castle itself just seems so huge. And uh, I'm not used to... I'm not used to, to looking for the, the, the chests in the, the style that they are either because uh, they're kind of like these weird sort of purple chests and I'm used to, to looking out for, for normal ones. So I need to be really careful that I don't look at a chest and then not realize it's a chest and then kind of carry on wandering off <laughs> and go straight past it. But anyway, uh, let's go. So that was her bedroom. Let me check her bedroom again. I didn't miss one in her bedroom, did I? I thought I'd check this area pretty carefully. They wouldn't leave it in her bathroom, would they? No, they wouldn't leave it there. So let's go back inside then because it did seem like there were more kind of different areas we can go to and just inside of this uh, this castle itself as well so let's go uh, a little bit further down here and uh, have a look around the the rest of this castle uh, just to see if there is going to be a music disc there like I don't want this to to become only about the music disc because it's really much more about exploring the the world itself and just kind of seeing everything that there is it's just nice to have that that little added objective of trying to to track down certain things so it looks like each of these doorways is kind of just leading to this uh, this same balcony, and then there's a bunch of the the different towers that you can uh, you can go up in order to to get back up the the top here. So it looked like pretty much any of the, the buildings that I went into, there was a pretty good chance that they would end up leading up to, to here. But look at the amount of detail. Like, pretty much every room is filled in and has got a furnace and a crafting table and stuff. And the good thing about these worlds is that if you do want to... to oh, look at this face. Look at this head. i got I got to put this creeper head on. Like, the good thing is, is if you just wanted to, to play this as a survival world, you just totally could. Like, you could just have this as, right, this is the, the world I'm going to, to live in, and you could go mining, and you could explore the, the rest of the area like there's nothing stopping you from just using this as just a world to, to live in rather than kind of what I'm doing is just like exploring the the world because there's just so much stuff just absolutely all over the place enchantment tables and uh, and all sorts are around here so anyway let's uh, let's go make my way back down into the um the, the town then and let's see what other places I'm going to be able to, to recognize uh, from the, the show and just other interesting sites uh, that there uh, that there are as well as possibly finding that music disc. and is that water then is that is that water I don't know if that is, is that, I don't know, I don't think that is. I was, I was going to jump all the whole way down then, but nope, that's not water. <laughs> it's just carpet. I, I wouldn't have been surprised if water was kind of just pink in this, uh, this world. It would actually make uh, quite a lot of sense, but I, I will be honest, I am a little bit lost now. Is this like the, the, the big main grand hall then? Or is, ah, okay, so this seems to be like where the, the throne is then. I think this is then. I think this is like the, the main big hall then where they have like all of the, the parties and stuff. I think that's what this is supposed to be then. So is this like the, the main entrance to the, the, the castle then by the looks of it? Yeah, I think that is then. I think that's the, the main way to, to get into the, the castle. Well, let's go look around just some of these, um, these little houses then. A lot of them do have chests in. Um, a lot of the, the, the chests are sadly uh, empty, but let's go and grab a couple of these beds, because then I can uh, skip night and also set my spawn a few times. If it looks like I got some dangerous parkour or something coming up, ah, I can hopefully uh, try and keep my uh, myself safe uh, before I, I end up having to, to try and deal with it. But yeah, sadly, it looks like there's there's not too much uh, inside of any of these chests, but it's just cool just to, to see the, the way that they're decorated and just kind of all of the, the different houses that there are around here. There's got to be a chest around here. There's got to be a music disc. Surely they wouldn't have the whole, the entire Candy Kingdom without there being a music disc. And I had such a, a good start to, to finding the, the first two, but it's been slow going since then. I'm kind of just trying to, to find the more notable houses because it's good because a lot of the time when you see towns in Minecraft, like a lot of the houses end up looking the, the same, but you can see like pretty much every single house has just been like decorated separately. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this little guy down here. Oh, it looks so ridiculous. Yeah, you can see like pretty much every single house just looks unlike any of the other houses around it. Apart from these ones. These ones look quite similar, but a lot of them, you know what I'm trying to say. A lot of them just look completely uh, different to the, the ones that they are next to. But I feel like the the chances of me finding a, a music disc by wandering into to one of these random houses is, uh, is pretty slim. So uh, yeah, yeah, I guess um, I should start looking at a little bit further uh, afield then and uh, start searching uh, other parts of this uh, this world uh, to see what else I can find. So where should I where should I head to uh, head to next then? Let's just see if I can find where the um, 
where where I entered this area from then. Uh, is it over here in this direction? Oh, this is a, a pretty big house, actually. I know I said I was going to leave, but let me just go and check this house just to see if there is <laughs> something else interesting in it. I can't resist it. It's so hard not to, to look at every single house. I think if I wasn't recording, I probably would look inside of every single house. But then this would be literally like a 40 minute video of me just looking inside of tiny houses. And that would be the most boring thing in the, the world. <laughs> Rather than going out and exploring uh, some of the, the new places. So uh, I think um, I think I might head north first. Uh, I think the smartest thing to do is kind of explore the entire top half of the, the the world. Then once I feel like I've explored all of that, then I can start making my way down south and kind of exploring uh, some of the, the other areas that are going to, to be down there. And I think that's the the best way to, to make sure I don't end up kind of missing any of the, the bigger areas. So let's uh, go out this way and let's go... Um, well, let's go right this way a bit. So yeah, I'm going to go right that way and then go over there and kind of explore everywhere on the, the edge of the, the world that way and see what else I'm going to be able to discover. But sadly, I know it feels like I've only just started it, but that is the, the end of, uh, of this episode here. So I'm going to be continuing to, to watch through as much Adventure Time as I can uh, just so I can kind of pick up on uh, everything that is going on. And feel free to, to join me, by the way, if you haven't watched Adventure Time or you feel like you need to, to watch it again. Feel free for, for joining me in a Adventure Time binge and we can enjoy the, the mashup pack and uh, the show uh, as well. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!